What's up nerds? Welcome back to the channel today. We've got the old MB box on the water. So we figured we'd go do a quick unboxing. Yeah. On the water. Yep. Where else would you unbox things? Office. But yeah, the water's good. No, office is the worst because <laughs> it's not wet. All right. So MB box for September is what we're looking at right now. Uh, number one off the top. I gotta call it out. The guidebook is the best in the game. Nobody else is it doing this. It really is. I'm, like people have tried, it's not close. Yeah. The only bad part about this particular month's guidebook is that it's full of some dummy named Paul. Where is he? Hi. He's like every page. <laughs> He's right there. He's actually on the cover. That frogfish was sick. It, that was a good frog fish. This, these are his paley hands. There, very pale, ghostly white. But it makes for a great backdrop. <laughs> That's, uh, I believe that's Debo. That's, that's Debo. That's Debo. Yep. With a giant, a real giant. Mr. Hoover. There's another Paul right there. Sorry, guys. There's another oh, Paul no. right there. Oh, no. You know what? I'm sick of this. <laughs> you know what? These are garbage, actually. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so what are we getting in this month's box? Well, uh, September, September, what are you looking for in a September box? You want, you actually, you want like both sides of the spectrum. You want high action, large profile. Yep and you want finesse natural. It, that's just my opinion. So I want top to bottom water column, yep. essentially. September is a funky month, especially up here in Michigan, mm -hmm. where we're finding out today, we just fished for what, four hours, five, five yeah, hours? five hours. We've got like five fish each. 10, yeah, total. <laughs> it's, 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 it's been brutal. It can be really tough bites some days, and that's yep. where you really need to cover the whole spectrum. Yep. So off the top, we got a couple of things. One thing I got to call out before I get in this first bait is that the baits in this box, as opposed to all the other boxes that we've gotten, yeah. which is everyone in the market, yep. uh, these baits pair up together really well, really nice which thing. I love. Yeah. So we've got the D Walker 120. It's a river to sea. A river to sea. Have tail. you seen a single river to sea soft plastic? I, I have, have not. not. I have not. So I've never used these. And if you guys sure. don't know river to sea, they do quality baits, but they make expensive baits. I mean, they make yeah. high dollar. This is a high dollar bait. Look at this. So big fatty, big thump and tail on it. Cool We're color. Translucent-ish green pumpkin, red flake, black flake in there too. Got a cool little river to see eyes on it as well. I have nothing like that anywhere. I dig it. And that can oh. pair up with this next thing. <laughs> So this is a company we're familiar with now. So that's Buddha Bait Co. Make a lot of cool stuff. This the is a smelliest plastics in the absolutely. entire planet Earth. Holy <laughs> Lord. This is a three eighths of an ounce buzz bait that I can just drop in the water right now because this is Paul's box. And you're going to add like almost a at least a quarter ounce to it yeah. if you put that other. Uh, yeah, these are hefty. On. So what I'll say with this is make sure you're using at least a medium heavy rod with uh, oh, that's, yeah, that's it's, fairly, it's stout. fairly stiff. And then a reel that can really one burn, uh, burn when you need it to. It's so like a seven six, seven eight, maybe an eight uh, to one, and uh, and be ready to throw this one anywhere. It has a really cool shaped head. Look you can that. burn that almost anywhere. Very cool, very cool combo. Yeah, it's that type of jig head that's really nice because it fits into your baits really well. Yeah. So they pair up more flush. This will pull over cover and everything really well. Better than a normal buzz bait. Yeah, this is this is a nice buzz. And then we got. Something that didn't work for us today. That this is what I caught. That, this is what I caught the cover fish on. This exact yeah. one. So Paul got a nice catch on this. This is the Lunker Hunt Kraken Frog. The only Kraken bait that I can recommend soundly. Oh, absolutely. So <laughs> yeah, we. Lunker Not Hunt, a fan of the Lunker Hunt Kraken series at all. Yeah, none of the Kraken series do we like. It is really. what it is. It Lunker is what Hunt's kind of like 50-50. They are. Us. It's a swing and a miss or it's a home run. This is, a nice, this is a nice rock. Did you this like fishing it? It's a solid rock. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it walks really well because these arms on the side, I love frogs with that style to it's it. Not bad. It's very plush, nice stout hooks, bright green on the uh, little skirt there. You can kill it's this. A nice frog. You can kill this this frog though. It will not last forever. Oh yeah, that's my only gripe with that frog. It's gonna really, rip apart. It's going. It can die. You can kill it. It's not as it's not as stout as some others, but it catches fish. Next up, we got a popper, absolute banger for this time of year. Uh, nice subtle color, pretty translucent on the bottom, gold and brown up top, very natural, and it's got that square mouth to it. So it does a good amount of spitting and it's well balanced. Yeah. So this is the type that's gonna sit up high like that. Got a very nice tide treble off the back. Uh, finesse hooks. This is a very, very finesse one. So that my my recommendation for you when you're fishing from catch, catch outdoors, outdoors is called the Mach K. Now my, my call out for this one, is, by the way, that one comes I think five colors, I yep. think it is. Yep. Now my call out for that one is use it on a medium spinning rig. I promise you close quarter combat in a uh up against the dock 
I can promise you, you can catch enormous, I yeah. mean, enormous fish. Um, and really my favorite way to fish those is not as a search bait. Like a lot of people tend to use those poppers. Yeah. It's find a place where you think, such as a dock, where you think fish are holding or even over beds. Even right out over Right here. out here <laughs> in these little pockets, not yep. into the weeds, but yep. right up to the weed line and twitch, twitch, twitch. You don't yep. even really need to pop it and bring it back. Um, you can, it's kind of like you would do a drop shot. Yep. And you target those areas and you can catch mondos. The other, the other thing you can do is if you are searching or you've got a big piece of open water, you kind of want to cover quickly, quick pops, yep. almost like pop, 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 pause. Pop, 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 pause. That, hold for a bite. Hold bite for a bite and you, you yeah. can catch, again, that is a really, those are my two favorite retrieves and I've caught a lot of fish on that exact bait. Love it. Then we got a swim jig. So this swim jig, it's pretty, pretty solid from a solid company. I mean, Stanley yeah. makes good stuff, has forever. Their jigs, um, I will say, I, I can't, I can't say like that they are like the best jigs in the world, well, but I have saying. caught, I have caught fish on them and they are still alive. <laughs> yeah, they seem to hold up pretty well. It is just a silicone banded, so it's not hand tied sure. or anything. You can retie the scurry however you want, but it's got that nice tapered head, big bright eyes, which is sweet. And that's going to pull through cover really well. So one thing you guys will notice on, on that swim jig and this style of swim jig particularly, mm -hmm. you'll notice a really big, like thick tie-in point. Some people are scared of that. Yeah. They think like maybe that that is like the sign of a cheap bait. I've heard a lot of people say that. The reason, one of the reasons that it looks the way that it does is because that actually adds to the very point of the bait that helps it pull through cover. The whole shape of the head is like an arrow and it's supposed to push aside cover. Mm -hmm. You'll notice the swim jigs typically have lighter weed guards because they're not meant to be fished through cover, but they are meant to be relatively weedless in like tall milfoil and things like that, like Fish tall sparse weeds. So you can go yeah. into it without getting hung up, but not like get into the gunk. So yep. that's actually why that tying point is kind of so hefty. So from there, we got must add ultra point hooks. Typically you're going to get these in the box. I know terminals boring or whatever, but you kinda, know what catches fish, but you kind of need it <laughs> sharp hooks. So I must add a great, great hook. Yeah, now, these are I use, I use that exact hook today. I caught two fish. So had you not had those hooks, you may not be catching that fish. Exactly. I've actually got one of these tied on right now. Yep. That's holding a fluke. Yep. Um, other things we get in this box. We actually have two more things of plastics that will pair with great. everything in the box. Like you could, uh, well, other than what I'm holding right now, you could put it on the swim jig, you can put it on the buzz bait, and then of course you can put it on this hook. Yep. So everything is meant to go together. I mean, we've got a gold standard here. Like it's Excite Baits, it's a Green Pumpkin Senko, a stick bait. How many baits have Sorry. you caught on a Green Pumpkin Senko? Uh, how many fish? Unlimited. Or Unli how many fish, not how many You can baits. catch unlimited fish on Green Pumpkin stick baits. I, I have, yeah, well. This is not a Senko. Senko. Don't, you're going to get yelled at. Okay. <laughs> So I, These I are caught, pretty plush too. These are they're, nice. They're a nice balance. Excite yeah. baits, they actually make a really cool floating, extra long tail, uh, like jerk bait. Mm -hmm. it, it crushes. And and the nice thing about this, you guys, is um, you have to remember that this is the, the box is trying to be offered as a value. Yep. And so this is part of the value offering where you get a whole bunch of plastics that you know you can catch fish on. Um, yep. So you get, it's like 50% reload, 50% something you've never tried, which is cool. Nice reload. I mean, you always need green pumpkin hooks. Always. And you always need hooks. So I'm happy with that for sure. And then last but not least, one of the best crows. I'd say you're de it's definitely not least at all. It's premium. So we got the Z-Man, what are these called? Turbo, turbo cross. Oh yeah, I should know. <laughs> so we got the Z-Man turbo cross here. This one in a uh, Bama bug. Bama bug, which is a color that like gets no respect. Green pumpkin, a little bit of purple, but look at green how, flake. Look how heavy. First of all, is. look at the front. You're like, okay, okay, bam. Yeah, dude, bam. And that's why it's called Bama bug. No, it's not. It's not. It's very, <laughs> it is very cool color though. So yeah, the cool thing about having this in the pack, one, you know, obviously indestructible craw would be nice to have. We can go ahead, we can Texas rig it or throw a weightless on those hooks. We can go ahead and pair it up on the buzz bait. That's always fun. Underrated. Very fun. Very Good under, combo. not enough people use that. And then we can pair it up obviously with the swim jig. Oh. And that so, is also another, you know, a lot of people won't, they'll use it on like a, a, a regular jig that you're kind of dragging or hopping on the bottom, but people mm -hmm. tend not to use them as much on swim jigs or jigs that are, that are getting a lot of movement, Moving. but it really bladed does, jigs. it garners a lot of attention, can yeah. confirm. Throw it on a bladed jig yes. and then consider throwing it vertically too. Yep. So you can run it a few different ways uh, and yeah, it'll do absolute work. So kind of the fun part about getting this thing every single month is regardless of the brand of baits, yeah. it's the more about the techniques and the styles that we look for. Yep. So I, we talk a lot about this concept of expanding the tackle box and the skill set. 
And for us, you guys know, we're aggressively average anglers. That we're best. never going to be pros. We're never going to be a, yeah, the expert in the no. field on said bait. No. And we'll never claim to be. Uh, because there's enough people out there that know infinitely more and are way more wise than we are on these concepts. And we want to learn from them, right? So having going in with that learning mindset, by the way, makes a huge difference. If you're sitting at home and you're like, listen, all I need is Texas rig, green pumpkin worm, Great. and I can catch anything. Like, fantastic. Fine. What I want to do is I want to have that tool in the tool belt that no matter what water I hit, I know I can figure something out. I can solve that puzzle. And it's really helpful getting a box like this specifically because this is, of all the boxes we've gotten, which again is everyone in the market, it's the only one where things actually pair up. You have an actually useful guidebook yeah. that has all the instructions it's in it. It's great quality. It pairs up with the YouTube channel from Monster Bass. Go yeah. check it out. Uh, Monster Bass on YouTube has tons of creators. Honor. I, I did a video on that exact yep. popper. Yep. Um, we had uh, Chad Hoover did a, a, a buzz bait video that, yep. that talks about uh, paddle tails. Um, Debo like did the stick month. bait. And, and, and you'll yeah. be seeing one soon here on Frogs that I did. So it's yep. it really does pair up nicely. And, and our, the reason that we work with Monster Bass is because it's a quality product that's a high value from a company that we enjoy working with. The people that work there are really cool. That includes Rick and everybody else on down uh, to the creators, right? Yep. And then, but finally, I feel really confident that if you bought this box uh, as, as somebody who's brand new to fishing, it opens up a lot of doors that you wouldn't even think to open. If you're an intermediate fisherman, you're adding baits that you may not have picked yep. or even known about. There's yep. stuff in here that you may not have even known about. And then finally, if you're in a more advanced angler, uh, it's a really good value way for you to fill out your tackle box yep. and it's just fun to get so if you enjoy fishing that's why we've worked with monster best and we'll continue to do so because that's the product that they're making yeah uh and, and again like the the biggest argument i think i ever see in the comments is just about like what brands are in the box sure, or, like yeah, they yeah. weren't happy with one sure. you know we're not I saying that. you're going to be a hundred percent happy it's not 100%. 10 for 10 every month um that said pay attention to the the different techniques the styles of bait that you get yes. learn on them go get an upgraded model if you're like i love buzz baits now go get a mega bass buzz bait 100 like, yeah 100 because now 100%. you now you feel comfortable investing into it versus before learn and it's better you to learn on this stuff anyway tried to buy one you wouldn't have yeah all right so yeah great box highly recommended uh so this is again the september box hopefully you guys are picking it up if you haven't yet and you want to get one always consider checking our link in the description Please. below you can order through us it helps us out and makes us look good for rick which let is... them know burly sent you <laughs> Anyways, please do that. It's very helpful. If you haven't ordered a box before, use the code SAVE15, S-A-V-E-1-5. 100%. Get 15 bucks off your first order. Do the regional box. Not 15%. Box. $15. I said... I know. Get $15 off your first box. That's totally so worth it. Uh, it's basically free at that point. Dude. Spend 10 bucks on like seven to eight baits. Like, you're going to be happy. Uh, at any rate, there's our On the Water unboxing. Thanks so much for watching. Smash the like button, ring the notification bell so you can see when we post the next video. And please go do the same thing for Monster Bass's channel. Yes. You can see more content from both of us, as well as a plethora of anglers who are a lot better at fishing than we are. Uh, some fun stuff on there, so please go check them out too. And otherwise, we'll catch you on the next uh, early video. Actually, otherwise. And, other, and, and otherwise and catch us on our new podcast aggressively average anglers which deals with the exact concept we address with yes. this box every single month so this month helps us like again expand that tackle box and skill set push our uh challenge ourselves challenge ourselves and have fun on the water yep. i mean that literally monster bass's uh tagline yep. is have more fun catch, catch more, more fish, fish. Yeah. so let's do that together i would like to do that all right guys we'll see you on the next one